Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, in today's video, we're going to talk about how to sell aquatic plants online the easy way, the fun way, the lazy way, and the stress-free way. Stay tuned. Alright guys, so I've been selling aquatic plants online for a little while now and um, I have a fun time doing it and I developed a system that makes it very easy and very stress free. Um, now I want to point out that the way I sell plants um, is just a way to help sustain the hobby. I make a little bit of money each month. Um, but it's nothing that I'm gonna live off of, right? So if you're looking for a way to sell plants to make a living and quit your day job, this is not the video for you. This video is for the folks that um, have some extra plants, they're tired of throwing them away or are giving them to friends and they wanna make an extra 10, 20, 50, 100, 200 bucks a month, right? And so if that's you, then this video is going to be pretty helpful. All right, so I'm going to walk through five tips on how to make sure you can sell plants easily um, and very stress-free. Because if you're like me, you don't want selling plants to turn into another full-time job, right? And so how can you sell plants, make a little bit of extra money, and it be really easy to do? Um, and the first thing you want to do is pick the right plant right um, now whenever you're picking a plant you obviously want an aquatic plant that you want growing in your aquarium that other people want growing in their aquarium um, but you also want something that's fast growing that's easy to maintain and almost indestructible right um, and the reason why you want that is because if you're able to propagate a plant very quickly if the plant propagates itself very quickly then it makes it easy to sell um, your product and your product essentially makes itself right um, if it's easy to care for that means it's going to be stress-free you're not going to have to worry about spending hours or buying fertilizers or buying really expensive lighting to make your plants grow right um, all the plants that I sell are normally in the three tanks that I have, and I have the twenty to forty dollar lights, just the very generic um, lights up top. Um, and there's nothing else special in most of my tanks besides some dirt in the bottom that kind of helps them grow, right? Um, but the first thing you want is the right plant. That's a fast-growing plant that's going to propagate itself. That's not going to die easy. And when you think of a plant that meets that criteria, there's really only one type of plant, and that's floating plants, right? So I'm talking about duckweed. You can make money selling the most hated plant in the world, duckweed, yes. So duckweed's a great plant. Um, and then so are all the other floating plants. So duckweed, Sylvania minima, um, dwarf water lettuce, red root floaters, um, frogbit, all of those plants are really great to sell um, and then the reason why is because a lot of your um, big name fish stores Petco, PetSmart, all of those they normally don't sell those um, and so you normally have to go to a specialty store to find them right and so if you're selling them that makes the availability even higher right it makes it easier for someone to get that um, and the other thing is those grow like crazy. Um, I've sold um, Sylvania Minima, I've sold duckweed, I've sold dwarf water lettuce, I've sold frogbit. Currently I have growing in my tank dwarf water lettuce um, and I really like how long its roots grow. Um, so I'm really sticking to dwarf water lettuce. Um, I'm thinking about getting some red root floaters soon and selling those. Um, but you want to sell the right plant and normally that's going to be floating plants, right? Now once you figured out what plant you want to sell, um, you have to know how to list your plants, right? Now the way I list my plants, I go to Facebook Marketplace and I go to Nextdoor. Um, now the key thing here, and this is up to you, but if you want to be really low stress, do not ship your plants. Shipping your plants is going to turn this into a full-time job, and unless it's going to make you more money, yes, um, but 
If you're not looking for another full-time job, if you're just looking to make some extra money, then don't take on the extra stress of figuring out how to ship, right? Now, it's very important that you list your plants correctly, right? And so you figured out what kind of plants you want to sell, floating plants more than likely, uh, but it could change based on your area. But after you figure that out, you want to list your plants correctly, right? You want to go to Facebook Market, you want to go to Nextdoor, um, and you want to take great pictures. You really want to take time um, cleaning your tank, doing a water change, making sure there's no algae, making sure your tank is topped all the way up, making sure there's no glare on the tank so people can see the plants easily. And you wanna get different angles of the plant, right? If you're doing floating plants, you wanna get a close up of the root, kinda of drifting through, you wanna get uh, a picture of some fish swimming through it, right? There's nothing better than seeing a fish swimming through the plants because it, that's what you want in your tank. You want a plant and you want other items that your fish are gonna enjoy, right? And if you have a picture with your fish doing that, your fish are gonna sell the plants for you, I'm telling you. Um, but some tips on listing the plants correctly is you wanna have a clean tank. You wanna make sure there's no glare. You wanna take at least five pictures, right? Um, and you wanna make sure there's a great description. So many times you see one picture, right? And the description says um, floating plants, dwarf water lettuce, $5 per handful, I don't reply to, is this stool available? If it's listed, it's still available, right? How many times have you seen a listing like that? You see it all the time, right? And I'm sure they still get sales, but you're gonna get more sales if you put the time to take great pictures and if you put the time to um, make a great description. And so you're probably thinking, Andrew, you said this is gonna be stress-free, it's gonna be easy, it's gonna be fun. If I'm gonna have to take all that time to do that, that, that kind of makes, that kind of takes the fun out of it. And well, a couple things to say to that. One, you should be cleaning your tank anyways. And then two, after you take those great pictures, after you write a great description, you're done. You can reuse that month after month after month, the same pictures, the same description, and just repost it every single time. And so it might take an hour or two to come up with a great description and clean out your tank and make it look really great. Um, but that's going to help um, uh, sell these plants and it's a one-time investment that you're not going to have to repeat, right? And so let's talk about what does a great description sound like? A description that I normally use is floating plants, dwarf water lettuce, great for fry, great for shrimp, great for beta fish, great for dispersing light, and great for keeping your aquarium healthy. Five dollars per handful located in your location, right? And so if someone's reading that and they're like, well, I have fry, let me take a look at these pictures. Well, I have a beta fish, well, I have shrimp, right? Well, they told me this fish doesn't really like lighting too much. Let me take a look at these pictures, right? So they're reading through your description, you're hitting home on um, something that they have in their tank, and now they're gonna loop back to the rest of your pictures. So it's important that you have great pictures, and it's important that you have a great description. And that's really gonna help sell itself. Um, and once you come up with that one time, you can reuse it time after time after time. All right, so the third tip I have um, whenever you're selling plants, uh, the easy way, the lazy way, right? That means people are coming to your house, right? So you figured out what plant you wanna sell, you listed it, you made great pictures, someone reached out to you, hey, is this available? You said yes, and by the, rec by the way, I recommend that if someone says, hey, is this available, just say yes, and that's it. Because it's, if you wanna do this a stress-free way, 80% of the people who message you are just gonna ask that question and then never respond to you, right? That, that's kinda how it works. Um, and so I just say yes, and they're gonna have to do the legwork to ask me about times and availability, um, and then I can set everything up, say, hey, here's my address, we can meet at this time, those type things, right? But once they start heading over to your house, the third tip I have for you guys is to cross-sell, right? Um, so I normally make between 40 and $80 a month selling plants online, Facebook Market and Nextdoor. 
Um, not a ton of money, but it's enough money to help buy new fishies, new plants, new decorations, water conditioner, uh, meds, um, and even even a new tank or a nice tank light or wh whatever whatever you want, right? Um, and that's the whole goal of selling plants online, the stress-free, easy way, is just to make a little bit extra pocket money um, from things you already have, right? And so number three is to cross-sell, right? Once they're in your house and they want to buy a handful of dwarf water lettuce for $5, right? You start having a conversation. Um, and the way I normally do it is, as I say, hey, my stem plants are growing um, really tall and I'm going to need to trim them. You know, I can make you a good deal if you're looking for stem plants. I'll give you 10 stems for five bucks, right? And so all of a sudden, you went from selling dwarf water less for five dollars to selling another five dollar item of stem plants, right? Um, and, and it's just really easy to um, turn a five dollar sale into 40, 60, 50 dollars. And that's normally how it works when, in my experience, um, I normally don't get 10 customers who just want one handful of Dwarf Waterless for $5, that equals my $50 for a month. Normally, I only get one to three customers a month. And normally, one of those customers are spending $60, $70 in plants, right? And so, you really want to make sure to cross-sell because people want all these other things um, that they may not know you have, right? Or that they may not know you have for sale, right? And so, I have a lot of platies in my outdoor mini pond. I also cross sell selling those platies, right? I sell them for a dollar a fish, right? If they're buying plants, they may want to pick up some platies as well. Um, they pick up five, six platies. I sell some floating plants. I sell some stem plants. I may sell an Amazon sword or two in the back because I got a ton of those. Um, and all of a sudden, you went from a five dollar sale to a fifty, sixty dollar sale, right? And so it's pretty, it's pretty normal for that to happen. And so cross-selling is a way to um, kind of move your plants that are just growing and that you may be throwing away anyways. And you don't want to throw away plants. Um, so it's better to see if there's any interest and get them sold. Now tip number four that I have for you is to develop marketing. And when I say that, you automatically think, oh, that sounds pretty complicated. You know, I don't know Google Analytics or Google Ads or Facebook Ads. You know, I, I don't want to do any marketing. Well, my marketing is very easy. Let me go ahead and grab it real quick. Now, this is an optional step. Um, but I have a fish Instagram. So an Instagram just for my fish where I post maybe some projects that I'm working on for an aquarium or new fish that I got or whenever I rebuild the outdoor mini pond, the patio pond, I, I um, put pictures or short videos, right? And so it's a fish Instagram. So one thing I do for marketing, so if you have a fish Instagram or you would like to take on making a fish Instagram, um, then it may be worthwhile to make your own business cards. And with every time someone comes to purchase some aquatic plants, I give them one of these and it has a QR code on the back and they can scan that code with their phone and it takes them right to my fish Instagram page. Now I don't sell anything on the Instagram page. Um, it's just nice pictures, funny pictures of fish and aquarium related stuff. Um, but it's a good way for to generate repeat customers and have customers reach out to you, right? And so it makes it even more effortless, even more stress-free, because you don't have to do that work of listing things, of reaching out to people, any of that, right? They say, hey, I bought you from you before. I saw that, you know, your latest Instagram post, you have this plant now, are you selling? And it's an easy way to... Um, develop marketing without having to put a lot of effort into it. It's optional, right? Um, so if you're into the Instagram, then it may be an option for you. All right, and that brings me to tip number five. Um, and tip number five is to have fun, right? And it sounds a little cliche, but you know, you're thinking, all right, I'm going to list plants online. 
uh, next door. I'm going li to list them on Facebook Market. Uh, these are complete strangers coming to my home. Are they going to murder me? And the answer, maybe. I mean, they could murder you. But um, if you think about it, think for a second. How many people in your life do you know personally that enjoy the fish hobby as much as you? And if you're lucky, you can probably only think of one person. But if you're like most of us, it's zero. And so this tip is pretty important because now you're getting these people coming into your house, buying aquatic plants that are into fish keeping as much as you. All right, go ahead. Let's have a conversation. Ask them what kind of fish they have. Ask them what kind of tank they have. Um, you can make some good friends this way. You can also uh, trade fish this way. Maybe they have you know, a cool epistogramma or an oddball fish that you haven't been able to find anywhere that they have that you may be able to do a swap with. All right, so there's a lot of cool things that could happen based on those interactions because you both have an interest in this wonderful hobby, right? All right, guys, so that wraps up my five tips and five steps on how to sell fish online the easy way, the stress-free way, and the fun way. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks, guys.